Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're in Strangerville. We all know why we're here. For those of you that might not know, this video is part of a series where we make every single sim in every single world related to each other in the hopes that by the end of it we'll have one sim who is related to all other sims. So if you've just joined this series I recommend you go back and start with Willow Creek which I will link at white box at the top of the screen now if you want to start from the beginning but for today we're doing Strangerville. Now I think today might be a fairly quick one. We just have four households, so we should be able to fairly easily bring these families together. So we're gonna start with the Eclectic Arts household. I feel like they're probably the best family to start with. And then we'll just work our way around. Okay, so I reckon this guy, Mark, and this girl, Leslie, they can be our first set of parents, so I'm just going to use a few cheeky cheats just to make them true loves. And then they can share love's true kiss. Just a little kiss. Oh, what a beautiful moment. So beautiful, the other girls sticking around to watch. What an awkward thing to do, huh? Okay, so let's make Leslie super fertile. And then they can go and try for a baby. That's all we want, just one baby. Don't put any twins in there. Well, they finished, but she won't, she won't get out of bed. What did you do, Mark? You've left her exhausted. Get the fuck up. Get out of bed, you lazy bitch. There we go, there we go, okay. So, what's the verdict? Tell me while you're sitting on the throne. Are we pregnant? Hey, we're pregnant. Great success. Right, well, I don't really see any reason to drag this on, so let's just get her in labour right away. Because this is not the only pregnancy that's going to happen in this house. Okay, so go and have your baby. I'm not too sure what gender she's having. All right, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Oh, we, we had a boy. We will call him Teal. Little Teal Holland. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, age up little Teal. They're gonna be colors, by the way, if you haven't been able to tell. Teal looks like a bit of an old soul, doesn't he? Like a little mini professor. Cute. Right, so Alice, you and I are going on a, not vacation, we're going on a little trip, because you are going to get knocked up. Okay, so Alice is going to go to the Carhill family. And we'll have a... We're going to get pregnant by this guy, the old loner. Should we go knock on his plane? I guess. I mean, how the fuck do I get in? Knock on door, sure, yeah. Oh, hey there, buddy. George. Georgie Porgy. We're going to be true friends and true loves with this guy. Is he an elder? Yeah, he is. Well, that's okay. He looks pretty good for an elder, if you ask me. It doesn't look like he's got anywhere we can woohoo, though, which is a, a problem. Hey, George. You got somewhere quiet we can go? Huh? We can get a bit better acquainted. No, you can't even woohoo in the in the bath. What's that about? Okay, well George can just come to our house. Okay, let's uh, try for a baby with George. Come on, Georgie. There we go. There we go. I hope this doesn't kill him. Okay, it's time to find out if this one is knocked up. So I'm thinking. I'm going to have her baby have a baby with Teal, or will I? Maybe I'll switch households, actually, before I do that. I will get her to... Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps, actually, I'm going to go check the mayor's household, because I don't know what gender their baby is. 
Let's go to the Roswells, see what they have. <laughs> You're right there, Meredith. Oh, they had a baby girl, okay. Well, let's go and age up their daughter to be a young adult. Go and age her up. Okay, that's handy because now I know that the second baby they have in the Eclectic Arts household is going to be a boy. And then Teal and Lily will have a baby. And then the daughter of the other family, the army family or something, will have a baby with the other baby of the Eclectic household. Does that make sense? Doesn't sound too complicated. Pretty straightforward. Oh, what a cute kid. I never used that bunchy hair. Bless her. And they grow up so fast, don't they? When you force them to. Okay, Lily is officially a young adult. Quite a get up you've got there, Lily. <laughs> oh well, each to their own, I suppose. Right, I'm going to switch back over then to the Eclectic Arts household. Now I've got a plan. I know what has to be done. Pop back over here. Right, Teal, where are you, boy? So you are going to grow up by the speed of light to be a young adult. And then you are going to have your baby, Alice. Oh, she was pregnant with a boy anyway, so it would have worked out fine in any case. Go and have your baby. Okay, so Teal should be a young adult now. Little baby Burgundy. Stop moaning. If you spent more time pushing, less time complaining. Okay, let's age up little Burgundy. Didn't even get the chance to take a proper good look at Teal. Oh, look, he's even wearing, like, not quite Teal, but almost. I'm happy about that, at least. What a cute kid. My, my, what a cute kid. Okay, so we'll just get this boy to be a young adult. And then we should be golden to move on and start having more kids. Because at the moment, the family trees are pretty bland. They're not too crazy. Okay, burgundy. I thought you'd be wearing red, but never mind. Okay, great, great. So we're going to move to another house now. So I'm thinking now we move on to the Sigworth family. That daughter's going to be aged up and she's going to have a baby with Burgundy. So Christy, little Christy, you're now going to be older Christy. What the fuck has happened to Christy? She's got quite a squashed face. Like I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean, but her parents are pretty, you know, normal looking. Her lip is literally larger, her, just one lip, her bottom lip is larger than her chin. Ah, oh, poor Christy, sorry man. Right, let's, uh, let's get Burgundy over here. There we go, here he is. And then you two can just be so in love. And then have just a little smooch. All of the babies so far have grown up wearing, like, pastel colours. And it's spring as well. These sims, they know trends. Can they use a door effectively and not walk into objects? No, but they know their fashion trends. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's it. Probably best they use the parents' room than her bedroom. You might find it off-putting. Right, go and take a pregnancy test. Hopefully the answer is yes. Yay! Okay, great, great. Well, there's no point in hanging around. We have fish to fry and babies to have. So let me just get you a little crib, just so we can speed this up. Oh, she's having the baby. Little baby Violet. There we go. So let's just get Violet to a young adult, and then we're going to leave. Not bad, not bad. I'm pretty sure we had a sim in Windenburg or San Myshuno that looked pretty much exactly the same with the thick eyebrows and the this hair style, but with like green hair, I want to say. Okay, Violet, well, I'm done with you for, for now. See you in a minute. So now we're going to go to the Roswells again. And Lily is going to have a baby with Teal. And their baby is going to have a baby with Violet. 
So let's um, let's get Teal over here. Here he is, big man on town, Mr. Teal Holland. That sounds like it could be a superstar name, like a TV presenter name. Go and have a little kiss with Teal Holland. Oh, 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 yeah, that's the stuff. Is there anywhere, anywhere around here that a baby could be conceived? Oh, yes. Go and try for a baby with Teal. God, this house is so empty, isn't it? Who built this and thought, yeah, that'll do. That's furnished enough. Come on, guys, grow up. That's it. That's it. Oh, I didn't set her pregnancy risk, though. So I suppose this one will be a surprise for everybody. Oh, they're doing it again, I guess, just to make sure. <laughs> okay, go and take that test. Stop dilly-daddling around. Oh, she is pregnant. Great, great. And she is having a boy, so we're going to put her in labour. There you go. Go and have your baby so that it can immediately grow up and have a baby with Lily. Little baby. Royal blue. Okay, age up royal blue. There we go. Feels like so many of these kids have very similar colouring. They're all a bit tanned with blonde hair. But then a lot of them grew up with brown hair, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh, royal blue. So majestic. Right. Uh, I guess the only thing now is to get Lily over here. Not Lily, Violet. And then have a baby with her. And then I think we've completed the set. <laughs> For uh, Strangerville, anyway. There she is. Set active relationships, true friends, true loves. And you know what? I might even just add her to the family. I haven't looked at any of the family trees yet. So I think I'm just going to hold off now until this last baby is born. Try for a baby with royal blue. Yeah, you crazy kids. Okay, again, I didn't set her pregnancy chances, but I guess we'll see, we'll see. Go and take a prego test. She is pregnant, okay, great. Well, let's just stick her in labour now. Go and have your baby. We had a girl, we will call her Coral. Just like that. Right, age up baby Coral, stop that fucking crying. Coral is a cool kid. She age any time a baby ages to a toddler that wears sunglasses, I can't help but think, damn, they're cool. Cool kids. Right, let's take a look. This is Coral. She is our last remaining sim. Let me see her family tree. Okay, yeah, so she's related to every sim in Strangerville. Her family tree isn't very crazy. Now, usually, or sometimes at the end of these videos, I try and have the last remaining sim have a baby with another sim who is also related to other sims in their world. However, I'm not going to do that because Violet's, or sorry, Coral, her family tree isn't really that big yet. And next on the list, we have Sulani. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hold off until we do Sulani. And then Sulani's baby will have a baby with Coral. And then that child will have a baby with the remaining sim we have now, who is related to every other sim. I just don't like it when family trees look lopsided, you know, where you have loads and loads and loads of heritage on one side and then... They have a baby with someone who only has like four generations. So that's the plan. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. So I will. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.